Hello everyone, today we will learn about properties of equality and operations. This is the commutative property. You have heard about this before. It's whenever you uh, order, the order of the numbers may change and the sum or product will remain the same. A plus B is equal to B plus A. A times B is equal to B, to B times A. This property applies to both addition and multiplication. We have the associative property. It's whenever you group, you change the grouping of the numbers and the sum or the product will remain the same. The property applies to addition and multiplication. It's whenever you can just uh, change the place of the parentheses to change the grouping of the numbers and the answer stays the same. Distributive property of multiplication takes a number and multiplies by everything inside the parentheses. It's when you distribute the multiplication among the addition, the property works over addition and subtraction. You multiply the number which is outside the parentheses with the inside parentheses, and the, you will get the answer. Substitution property, so y 2x plus 4 if x equals 5, of course you have to substitute or replace the x with the 5 to get the answer. So the property allows you to simplify algebraic expression for different values. You substitute the given value of the variable into the equation and solve. So you have to replace the x with the 5 and you do the math to get the final answer. Identity property, it's whenever you, it's for multiplication and it's for addition. For addition, whenever you add zero and the answer stays the same and it is for multiplication, it gives you the same number, a zero, uh, the one and zero act like mirrors. Zero property of multiplication, anything multiplied by any, any number multiplied by zero equals zero. Multiplicative inverse property is the property that helps you when solving equations where there is a fraction attached to a variable by multiplication. The normal inverse operation for multiplication is division. But in case you have uh, to multiply, you, but in case you have a fraction, you will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction. So guys, whenever you have any fractions just multiply by the reciprocal. What I mean by reciprocal is the um, number upside, the fraction upside down. So, for example, you have this equation and you need to solve it. You have uh, half n minus three equals four. You need to get red for example for uh, with the, from the three first. You need to get red of the three first. So you have to do the inverse operation of um, subtraction. So you need to add three to both sides. This way you will have half n uh, separated at one side and you will find seven on the other side. Now you have half attached to the variable. Now multiplied by the reciprocal of half, the, the number upside down. So you need to multiply both of them by two to get the answer. So this property helps you whenever you have fractions, just multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. Transitive property, A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. If one quantity equals a second quantity uh, and the second quantity equals a third quantity, then the first equals the third. Okay, so this is an example. 1,000 millimeter is equal to 100 centimeter and 100 centimeter is equal to 1 millimeter. Then 1,000, the first one, is equal to the third one. Okay. Symmetric property A plus B equals C, then C equals A plus B. If one quantity equals the second quantity, then the second quantity equals the first quantity. And for example, 10 equals 4 plus 6, just change the places. And it's going to be the same, exactly the same. 4 plus 6 equals 10 is exactly the same to uh, 6 plus 4 that's equal to 10. Reflexive 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 property reflexive property 